and welcome to a mega haul video from Pink Fresh Studios. I mean, look at that. I went a little bit crazy. And also some luscious, luscious inks. But first, let's have a look at these. So I have the Diagonal Stripes um, Slimline Stencils. Or stencil, even. It's just the one. And then we have Inverted Diamond Horizontal Stripes. Because you can never have too many stripes, right? Oh, yes. Look forward to playing with that. And then we have Diamond Motif. So this one, I think, would be really great for like just simple, subtle backgrounds. It's just beautiful. I love that one. And then we have Diamond Plaid. Plaid? Plaid? Even? <laughs> Argyle. I'm bringing out my Scottish. Well, that probably wasn't very Scottish. And then we have Basic Plaid. And finally, the Leafy Squares. This one I've seen so many fabulous uh, st uh, projects with, so I'm really looking forward to playing with that. But as you see, I went a little bit crazy with the stencil, but there is a reason behind that. And then we have some stamp sets, and this one is You Are My Favorite, and um, I think it's already one of my favorites. And this one has coordinating stencils to kind of fill in the flowers, which I think is a genius idea. And then this one is floral notes, and I actually managed to snag the coordinating dies for those. And then we have a phrase builder for hello. So this one has lots of fun uh, sentiments, but in words. And I like that they have the shadow and the word bit together. And then of course, some stand alone cuts for the essential slim lines cutty cuts. And thankful for friends. This one is designed by my friend Alex Siberia, so I'm really excited to have this one. And the coordinating dies, yay! And the fun pop out stamps are super cool. So I got the sunburst and the coordinating die for that one. And then this pop out rainbow, which I've had my eye on forever. And the coordinating die! Yeah, I should probably take that down the notch, shouldn't I? And then the pop out straight stripes. And this one I already had the die for, and I love that one. And then we have Leah's ornate uppercase um, alphabet stamps. Unfortunately, the lowercase was out of stock, because otherwise, you know, probably would have snagged that one too. I do love me a good alphabet stamp set. And then we had Heather's upper and lowercase stamp sets. And for this one, I also have the matching dies. And sadly, the lowercase one was out of stock. Now, the reason I went so crazy with the stencils and stamp set is because I was in this box. Yeah, again, I probably should take that down a little notch. But I was super, super excited to get contacted by Pinkfresh Studios. And um, they asked if I wanted to play with their inks. And it was like, I, I, yeah, duh, that's a trick question, right? So they sent me this box of inks. So this is their entire range of inks. And oh, la la. Ha. Oh, dear. Here I go again. Super excited. Anyway, <clears throat> let's keep this professional, Erica. Be a grown up. Be a proper grown up. Whew. Right. So. We have some very, very luscious, luscious inks, and I love that they come in color family. So you get four shades of every color. And yeah, I mean, look at that. It's just like, mmm, it's like cake for ice, isn't it? And the pads are like nice and sturdy, and you have a nice sort of like grippy base around the, um, the actual pad to kind of get, you know, some, some pads just don't have enough of a grip, so you get ink all over your fingers. Yeah, not a fan of that. But these ones feel nice and sturdy and yeah, the lid comes on, on and off easy, but it doesn't fall off. So to make my swatches, I am going to be using these guys from Waffle Flower, but you can actually find these in the Pink Fresh Studio shop as well. So I, I've never actually used these before, but um, I thought, hey, let's give it a go. So I've loaded up my Misty here and I've also cut out um just just a few tags with the uh, the tag die then you know that's all you know girls gotta be prepared right so i am uh, and then gonna be stamping up all of these well not all of them actually i stamped up as many as i needed for the ink pass and then i think an extra three just to be on the safe side in case i messed up and i did mess up a couple of times so it's a good thing that i made those extras 
So this is what it's gonna look like um, when they're done. And the stamp here is the uh, the combo swatch from Waffle Flower. So it's super handy because obviously these colors come in four and you have a one through three, four. So it's like perfection. So here I first went in with a black pen, but it's kind of, it was a very inky pen. So it kind of smudged a little bit, but I didn't really kind of want to give up before I typed out all of the uh, the ink pad or the ink pad names on the, my first tag here. But I did actually switch over to a pencil after this uh, because it just, I don't know, it just didn't quite sort of look right. It just looked a little bit messy. So I swapped over to the pencil and then I wrote down all the names of every single pen, um, ink pad on my swatches before I started doing the actual swatching stamping of itself. So I then, when I finished all of these, I, I tried to kind of load them up from sort of lighter to darker, but then I got a little bit excited in the way, like all the way through. So I, that kind of plan kind of went out the window as well. If you are familiar with the works of uh, Erica's Craft Room, uh, you do know that things tend to escalate and go a little bit sideways when things take a life on its own. And they did here as well. However, we are gonna, again, try to get back on track and focus on these inks. So as you can see, I've laid them all out here. And then what I did was I actually took a, a spare tag and I thought, well, I'm just gonna try first to see like sort of the spacing and everything on the on this spare tag before I actually used it on the one that I had already written up the names of, which I thought was a rather genius idea. I mean, I actually took a second there in all my excitedness and thought logically the man will be so proud of me when he watches this video because I am not a woman known for my logic thinking and strategic thinking, that's for sure. So as you saw, I have actually used a uh, eraser on the stamp there because I have never used this one before. So I wanted to make sure that I got a good imprint. And then I have just kind of eyeballed it a little bit here to see which one is gonna go, like the spacing and everything. So I have done that with all of the swatches. So they are not perfectly spaced on every single one. And some of them are a little bit wonky and some of them are just kind of a little bit all over the place. However, I thought, well, you know what? I'm not gonna send these to anyone. They don't need to be perfect. So I am just doing this for me. Uh, so first I just had a thought, oh, let's have a look here. Cause I mean, look at the colors up right there. And then, so those are gonna go onto that actual tag with the names written out. So we're gonna do the same thing again. However, we are very, very shortly going to jump into a time lapse because I am not going to force you to sit here and watch me do this with every single one of these color families because there's quite a few of them. Yes, indeed. But I thought we just do this first one nice and slow so that you see, you know, how things generally are meant to happen and that it can be done. It can be done. You just need to sometimes take a a chill pill to uh, calm down your excitement. And I was very, very excited when I was doing this. If anyone had seen me, actually somebody did see me, the UPS man saw me when I dropped off the box or when he dropped off the box. And they, there was a little bit of squealing and some jumping around and a little bit of a chuckle on his end. <laughs> it was a sight for sure. Anyway, uh, so here we are. We are hyperlapsing it to get all these swatches done and Ay, mama, look at these blues. Ooh, and then the pinks. Ah, oh. yes. And then uh, here, that, that was one of the ones that kind of went a little bit wrong because I didn't clear off my uh, my stamping between the pinks and the first green, which I do believe might have been fresh pear. So it kind of went a little bit gray pinky. So I had to go and wash off the stamp and then start again. So always make a few extra spares in case you are like me and, and a little bit willy-nilly in your craft room. It's better to make a spare before than having to stop your crafting in the middle. You know, just take my word for it. So, um, here we have it. All these luscious, luscious, luscious inks are swatched. And um, as I mentioned, 
uh, Pink for Studios graciously sent these to me um, free of charge just for me to sort of play with and to kind of hopefully inspire you guys by making some projects. Oh, here as well. I took all these, well, nearly all of them, uh, the tags, and I put them on this little ring binder so that I can have easy access to my swatches. So for when it comes time to make a project, they're all in one place. Yes. So we're gonna have just a little, little look-see up close at all of these inks or the ink families on their own. And then if you wanna hop over to my blog, I will link that down below as well in the description box. I actually made a card using the swatches as guidance for which colors to pick. And you will probably not be surprised to find out that I did use that pop out rainbow stamp for the card. However, it's still a nice card, even if you know what stamp I've used and it's a rainbow. Yes, I'm a rainbowholic. I have no problem admitting that. But anyway, we are actually coming to the end of this peep squeak uh, video. And um, that's me doing the peeping squeaking, yes. And uh, I will link everything down below so you can have a look yourself. And as I said, my blog will be down there. I will have some affiliate links to Pinkfresh Studios for all of these inks as well. So if you grab some, thank you so much for using my links. It really helps me keep everything kind of going. And thank you to Pinkfresh Studios for taking a chance on me. See you soon again. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that like button.